Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria. Well, it's that time of year again. It's not the winter time, it's not the fall, it's the spring time. I want you to know we always have more issues when it comes to our practice members having allergy challenges in the spring and in the fall. I think the fall is because of the leaves and the mold that's in the air that's coming from the trees, dropping the leaves and breaking down. But in the springtime, I, I know all of you, when you ever look at your car, sometimes at the end of April or early May, there's like a dust on it, that's pollen. So we have a couple products that I wanna talk about, but I want you to know something. I breathe the same air you breathe. I don't have airborne allergies. And part of the reason is I'm very aware of what I put in my body. I do not eat sugar. Sugar compromises the immune system because it takes out cofactor minerals and sugar places a demand on your white blood count and your lymphatic system. So that's really important. And there's something that I have said before, maybe to some of you, one man's passion is another man's poison. So some of you may eat foods like peanut butter, wheat, dairy, and even sugar, and not have any body signals at all. Some of you might have peanut butter and you might have a chronic sinus problem. And the reason is, is that peanut butter has mold on it. Just giving you that for an example. So everybody's food is a little bit different. If you're having chronic health issues, you may consider doing a test called the FIT test, F-I-T. We've had people with chronic digestive, colon function, breathing challenges because they have a sensitivity to food. Now, I'm gonna transition you to a spot now when it comes to products. So you could take either one of these products and I'm sure they're gonna make a difference. But the way our approach is in our drugless doctor office, we wanna educate you to make wise choices because you don't necessarily wanna take these products forever. We pride ourselves in the fact of teaching you what to avoid so maybe next season you won't have allergies. Does that make sense? Because that's a really important point. This is called antihistamine factor, AHF. It's a proprietary blend of nutrients designed by Zorex Research Company. So AHF stands for antihistamine factor. I want you to hear what I'm saying. So histamine is literally processed in your intestine and it also is involved with liver function. So histamine is released. Like you know when you have a runny nose, probably the worst thing to take it's an antihistamine because an antihistamine is tricking your body. So that's an important point. It's tricking your body. The antihistamine factor is helping your digestive system process the histamine. Important point. The liver is an integral part of the whole histamine process. So one of the suggestions with the Zorax manual is if somebody has a congested or compromised liver and or if you've had your gallbladder out, you may consider taking GB Complete, a sister product to this. You say, well, Dr. Bob, why do I have to take the product for? Because your liver has to do its job to process the histamine. You see, you have a runny nose in the sniffles because your body is creating fluid to dilute the toxins in your body. So taking an antihistamine from an over-the-counter is not getting to the root cause. It's complicating it because your liver has to process the antihistamine. So AHF is changing the physiological response in your body. It's a lot easier just not to eat sugar, dairy, cookies, wheat, or peanut butter. So you got my point? So that's really significant. The Histoplex AB or Airborne is another proprietary blend. It's a nutrient, and we've had great success with both of these. This is digestion, 
this is probably a little bit more symptomatic way to approach it. So think of this as a natural over-the-counter antihistamine. And it works very, very well. And I'm not going to tell you not to use it, but over time you say, well, Dr. Bob, which one of these would you use if you were me? Well, when you did your report, if we told you you had a large liver, you might want to do this. If you have digestive distress, you might want to use this. Why? Because it's digestion. If you just have a sniffle here or there and you don't have any digestive distress, try the Histoplex AB. You could try either one of these. You could do both at the same time. If whomever you are watching me right now have your gallbladder out, you might want to do AHF and GB complete. So this is a big puzzle. And we have been really fortunate in this office that we actually think. Now there's a blood test called the OptiCardio Plus or the OptiChem. If you're Billy Rubin, don't you wonder where they come up with these names? You're Billy Rubin. If your Billy Rubin is elevated, what does that mean? Let's say it's the range goes from zero to 1.2. Well, if you're hanging in there about 0.9, or 0.8 or 1.0, you have a gallbladder liver issue. The liver is the key. And I don't want to be redundant, but allergy issues are also digestive issues. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.